Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the real housewives of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. There's gonna be a mouse running across the right. Did it go? No, no. It didn't. Oh the sun. It did. Oh, no. it wasn't the sun, it was a mouse the first. <laughs> it was not! <laughs> Somebody wants a mouse in the hutch. Um, pattern. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a cute Christmas yes, pattern. Yes, that would be a cute pattern. All right, thank you for, we're gonna here to talk about oh, our stitching. Oh, anyway, I'm Priscilla, this is Chelsea. We're here to talk about to you about our stitching this week. Piper, Petunia. Yes. Okay, go ahead with yours. There's some extra animals in the house if you hear yes. any noises, so. Not my husband. There's <laughs> animals running around. Yes, like real animals. All yes. right, what'd you do this week? Um, yesterday we went apple picking. My guests arrived on Tuesday? Tuesday. So no. I was like cleaning and putting things away like a mad woman before that, and that's about it. You did football. You went to Farm Girl. Oh yeah, yeah. On Saturday, Main I went Street to, Market. I think yeah, they call it Main now. Street Market. And the only things I bought, everybody said, I hope you got, I hope you got a <laughs> Presley. I hope you got one of those big jingle bells. And no, did you see the prices? The jingle bells were expensive, but they would be cool. They would be cool. Yes. If I had them, I would like put the three of them next to a Christmas tree or something. But if I had a business, I would want those like a garland over the top. You have a business, yeah, but like a No, like a store. Front. Front. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, oh, so I got that. And what was the other thing I bought? Oh, I, I bought you, show oh. your wreath. I bought her a wreath. I thought it was really cute. Yes. Presley. Presley, I'm gonna come over there and just beat ya. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not. Play with your friends. Go play. <laughs> um, okay, what else? What else did I buy there? I told you I bought two things. I don't. Oh, a chicken feeder to plant. Oh, yeah. So I planted it. it. I didn't really plant it. I put small pots of mums and ornamental kale in it. <laughs> and it's down the, my patio table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the neighborhood dogs are barking. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, you went apple picking at Apple yes. Holler. Apple Holler is super expensive if yes. you're nearby. Yeah, this little tiny bag of apples that you can fit like maybe eight apples in for $22 because they take you on a train and there's petting zoo and that kind of stuff. I want to go to a real apple orchard where you get a lot of apples and we can make like apple pizza. That's on my blog and it's amazing. You just use that puff pastry and slice up your apples on there. That's so good. So I found a recipe and I'm gonna try it probably this week, I think, um, with puff pastry. You make like your chicken pot pie filling and then put that in like a casserole dish and then put the pieces of the mm -hmm. puff pastry on top, just an easier so you don't have to make the crust. Mm -hmm. Crust is kind of a pain sometimes. But that crust that we make for the puff pastry. I know, is it's so, so good. good, but it's so time That's also linked on my blog. I was gonna show them. It's gone. Um, some questions from last week. Okay, first of all, we want to put out there. Um, we have uh, been, we're now able to talk about the, one of the next re stitching retreats that we're going to be doing for 2024. It is in September and it's the pep rally with Chantel from 141 Design Company. So we're going um, to Michigan. We're going to Michigan and we're super excited. So signups are going to be on her website. We're going to and link you can it sign below. Up now. Yep. You can sign up below and we'll probably post it in our stitching with the housewives group as well. You can go back and see her most recent pep rally and it looked uh, very super fun. super fun so we're excited to be a part mm -hmm. of it for this next coming year so this is where you're getting the info information everybody says where do you get information for the retreats this is how we're mm -hmm. done um but you can see all the information about cost and where it is mm -hmm. and lodging and all of that on her uh website yep okay uh, where we can't do you, wait to see all of you. Where do you buy your floss, Barbara wants to know. We buy our floss at Fat Quarter Shop. So they carry the classic color works that we love and mm -hmm. that's where we get ours typically. Shipping is fast and quick and that's what we need because usually we need it. Yes, Yay. and I think like 99% of needle workshops will carry classic color works. So yeah. if you have a local needle workshop, try there. Yes, I had to pause stitching on Wednesday until I got my shipment because I was out of marmalade and I was out of um, tea and biscuits. Oh, tea wow. and biscuits. Um, all right, how do you store the bigger finishes like the welcome pumpkin on the big white wood pumpkin from Hobby Lobby? Are the picks and leaves on top on magnets and washers? Just buy those big, bigger bins. I mean, measure it and then go to the store and find a bin big enough. Most of mine like that are in a 
basket that's got handles and the bigger pieces are in there. It's like a laundry basket. Mm -hmm. um, she runs with bears. Do you deadhead salvia? Yes. Yeah, you, you don't can have see where to. it gets brown and just snap those off. But the like the proven winners ones, they they grow tall enough to cover up those that the blue ones. the blue suede shoes though. Mm -hmm. You she always deadheads because the hummingbirds really enjoy that, and you yeah. want it to keep promoting yeah. growth. Um, Rose Castro, Chelsea, how are you liking suits? We are done with suits, and we we liked the show. Lewis Lit is a really funny character. It does have. Um, foul language, so I will put that out there, but we really enjoyed it. Um, all right. Do you change your thread using one needle or do you use a needle for each color? I'm 81 and just getting back to cross stitching and want to start. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I just use one needle and change my thread. I think majority of people that do that, that parking with needles is like a full coverage piece. No, for your... but some people use like, oh, they like thread if there's five needles? colors, they'll have five needles with different colors, and then they pick them as they... Oh. Yeah, I'm not that organized. Marlene, <laughs> we use um, out-of-print needles, so we can't do that. We have to use the same bent-up needle until it dies. Um, all right, question. Your limelight hydrangeas, how long did it take for them to grow to the size they are now, and do you fertilize them? If so, how often? What brand? Do you prune them in the fall or spring? I've heard different advice and thought I would ask you since your flowers are in such great condition and are so beautiful. I prune in the spring. I have had them for, my time hop tells me I've had them for at least five years. Uh, Cash is five. I think you've had them for six. Six? maybe six for the the one side and five for the other yeah so in five or six years they've grown to that size and they were planted as small plants okay what was the other one oh fertilizer i use the espoma flower tone only in the spring and that's it yeah i mean once they are established like they are i mean but a good I, pruning could do a, i mean to get them shapely. Right, but I, I think I don't really hate to prune them, so I just take off the flowers and I just let them grow. They also say if you prune them too hard, you'll yeah. have um, softer stems where they'll flop. Oh. Um, but my soil, I think, is really good in those areas because every year I put down mulch, um, the bark mulch, and it rots, so that's adding to my soil too, and I used to do compost in there all the time. When I had a compost pile. All right, here's my question in a nutshell. Do you clean your house or do you have a maid service come in to help, help out? Neither. This was Neither. everybody's question. Like, how do you cook and garden and clean? The, you have to think of it as our day is structured differently than maybe yours is. So our stitching now becomes our job. job. Our gardening is our hobby. And cooking, I mean, cooking, we you have to do no matter what. So I think that that... There can be a lot of um, confusion there. I don't know. Yeah. Confusion isn't the word, but. And uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not get the housekeeping gene. Um, yeah, the ha my, I didn't, I didn't, because she didn't have it to pass to me. So, <laughs> did you hear that, babe? It's not my fault. It's genetic. It's, it's not my specialty. No, um, no. And I don't like it at all. And then I think sometimes I would like to get a cleaning lady, but then I'm like, well, Okay. Then you have to clean for the cleaning lady to come. I used to have a cleaning lady when my kids were smaller and I had my other business. And it would take me hours in the morning to get ready for her to come. So Could you clean. Yeah. We also... Um, and then the time that they put the dirty sheets on the bed instead of the clean sheets that I had laid out, I was like, I'm going to do this myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the lady that stripped down to her, just her pantyhose in my kitchen in front of the boys when they were little. Very interesting. <laughs> um we to when we didn't have this as a job before that we would use that like um days of the week to get more stitching done so i mean if that's something that you mm -hmm. want to adopt to devote more time to your hobby of stitching i think that would be a great thing too all right those are the questions that i have for this week okay so i only brought in one previous finish and this should give you a hint of what we're doing this week <laughs> it's pumpkin picking day yes so when does that start? I was just Wednesday. Asking. I know at three o'clock. Three o'clock. We were asking. We were just talking about yep. in the car if we have to take cash to the school. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. 
Yep. <laughs> All right, what do you have for finishes this week in the Etsy shop? Has to, has to, has to. <laughs> All right, so we started with the candy corn, and these finishing pieces are from Paisley's and Polka Dots. Candy corn. And then the haunted house with the home sweet haunted home. Super cute. She added these little jack lanterns, the little like scrapbook buttons, felt buttons. They're felt stickers. I forget where I got them. Um, vintage trim cloud. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have the sassy strippers. First we had the witch. These names are original, I must say. <laughs> It's, it's so easy, isn't it, though? I mean, when next year, when we pull these out for a previous finish, we're going to be like, oh, this was the pumpkin head. <laughs> and this week is... Kitty. The kitty. So she's super cute. I love her outfit. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Fine. I thought I stitched these in the wrong color because I was worried about marmalade not coming in, and I had already stitched her whole dress and half the pumpkin. I was like, maybe this was supposed to be an embers because the... One of them was done in embers, which is the um, the roundabout. So I'm just, my worries are settled. Okay, <laughs> the kitty. <laughs> I was just going to leave it, just whatever. So if you have a Halloween tree, those would look really cute on it. Otherwise, finish them so that they'll go on your tree trays or in some other Don't display. Don't write that, okay? All right. Do you have a whip? Yes. I don't have a whip. Oh. Did I forget? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> well, here, you can show them the colors. A lot of you attending uh, Annabella's retreat next month, you, for the love of God, the cockroach, um, <laughs> have finished your stitching. We love seeing it. Um, people that aren't going to the retreat, you're not able to see it until after the retreat. So we have a special group. That's typically what retreats do is they create a Facebook group where you can share your progress and ask questions if you need to about the retreat venue or whatever. Here is the... Can I just show, like... Sure. Yeah. No? Yeah. They can see how we stitch stuff too. We stitch things a little differently than you. We stitch it on, we put it on our iPads on black. If the color is black. So that's for a lot of you that have requested. Yes. Yeah, so I did write that down. So there were, um, oh, that was our question last week, week is what would you like to see? So um, nativity scenes. We've heard you on that one, uh, sewing themes. We've heard you on that one, beaches. Um, a lot of like everyday things, like the kitchen thing, like mm -hmm. like your farmhouse sign that can be displayed mm -hmm. all year round. But yep. a lot of those are already in the works, so. Yep. Um, but we've heard you and we appreciate it. Also, I'm gonna also, be gone next weekend. She's gonna be gone next weekend, so floss tube will be delayed or early or we don't know. Because you leave Thursday? I leave Thursday morning, and I don't come home until Monday Yeah, afternoon. so we'll be delayed. We'll probably do Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday morning. Okay. Floss tube. And it won't be up until either Tuesday night Unless or Wednesday Unless we go morning. live. We can try to do live. Good God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did get some haul. Um, first of all, this was sent to us, so these will be featured as a giveaway. Um, production got a little delayed, they said, so we've got them now. This is ca Cafe... Ole, Cafe Ole. These are 28 count even weaves. These are from Fabric Flare. So that would be good for, the, oh, I was going to say the monthly ray and I moved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's like, are we showing this today? No. Um, <laughs> the December And then the so hazy cute. gray dyed effect. Um, these are beautiful colors. You from colors. Fabric Flare. Yep, Fabric Flare. Okay. So and they then, sent them to us? Yeah, for giveaways. Yep. And then we got, um, Thanks a lot, Tay. This is from Joy. It was a thank you card, and she sent us some uh, Starbucks cards. I'm going to get a buttered croissant. I got some haul. I already ripped through the floss, but floss. I've got my finisher, some of this, because I figured it'll be coming up with Christmas stitches. This is the vintage trim. It's Rick Rack. Um, what color? Schoolhouse. Is red. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is called Grays. Like farmer's markety. 
cute. Yep. And then I bought some. You guys ask a lot about this. These are the eighty twenty. What? Are those for me? Sure, you can have them. I was gonna use them to quilt. Okay. And then um, I saw so much talk about it that I I had to get it because we have so many jelly rolls that I think I could do some of these. So this is the Simply Jelly Roll, and I think today they're doing a sew along, right? This I'm not sure. I think it's Saturday. Yeah. Um, okay, that is what I got from Fat Quarter Shop, and it was shipped super quick so I could get my floss floss together. Okay, and then I got a gift from Donna, my best friend Donna. Oh, Cash starts soccer today as well, so his first game is to get a knife to open up. Um, she sent me Superman. Superman. So she could have one and I could have one. Mine's up there. Thank you. Don't make me cry, Donna. You're good at that. Okay, um, what else? We got, I showed my haul. I showed these gifts. I show, I didn't show the what's new at Fat Quota Shop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, okay. Myrtle, and I love all these names because I name my chickens old lady names too. <laughs> I hope none of you are named Myrtle. No, <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean like uh, old. Canceled. <laughs> older names. What are they called? Vintage names, I would assume. <laughs> yeah. like vintage names. They're all coming back. Don't worry. Um, okay, so Myrtle is the new chicken club. Myrtle. I apologize. That was the wrong way to say that. Um, Foxtrot quilt like pattern. <laughs> right, it's coming back. Look at her. Can you see her? She's just passed out. All right. Um, this is by Jocelyn, this beautiful quilt pattern. It's called Foxtrot. And then... We have everybody wants to see you. August stackables, super cute with the honey and the honeycomb. And oh, <laughs> told you, I heard so much about it. Simply jelly rolls. So we have a bunch of these uh, to give away today. So you can join in on their <laughs> sew along. I need to get my sewing machine up and running. I want to do it. 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, okay, so that's what I have. That's that's what's new. All right, what do you have to share? Anything? Or should we do giveaways? We can do giveaways. Okay, so last week, we had some giveaways. So first off, the Housewives Hurrah. Thank you for participating. You get a $20 gift card to our Etsy shop, but you just email me what charts you'd like, and I send them to you. Mm -hmm. That goes to Barbara Salazar, Raquel G G G sorry, and Billy Smith. Okay, then we had candy corn. This is a PDF, so you just have to email me what you want and your name, candy corn. That goes to Jenny Dawn, Irene Hamilton, 7918, and Kathy Glenn, 7632. Then we had the pumpkin head. And that goes to Stitching with the Sisterlies, Rita Brennan, 3456, and Lisa Shirtcliffe, 3115, from Fat Quarter Shop. We have the natural brown, Ada. And then we have the linen. Okay, natural brown. These are Fabric of the Month Club from Fat Quarter Shop. You get a piece of fabric each month to add to your stash. This would be, those um, vintage roundabout look super pretty on mm -hmm. coffee tea day. Um, okay, the linen was first. No, the Ada was first, sorry, Ada. Marie Casa, 6197, and Millie Gallegos, 1816. And then the linen is Jenny Fleming and Janice Jeromac, 5831. Then we had a bundle of Ada from Fat Quarter Shop as well. It was white chocolate, latte, and white. And that goes to Jenny, uh, I'm sorry, um, Judy Parma, 3318. Then, flosses. 
Fine Floss, we have Jenny Fifield, 8452. The Floss Frenzy goes to Flower and Linen and Margaret Marie, 4108. Congratulations. <laughs> and then I forgot to fill in a number. Um, Pam Peterson, th 3092, you won the Blackbird Designs bundle. Then we had a Lori Holt fabric bundle and the cross stitch key. These were from Fat Quarter Shop. That goes to Smiling Daisy. Then we had a Christmas chart extravaganza. Extravaganza. <laughs> some of them have the linen with them. Beautiful kit. Um, oh, some beads I hear. Stitching Betty NOS. All right. Then we had apple picking. Oh, oh, it would be over there, right? Apple picking, Calvin and Clyde. Oh, Calvin and Clyde is on the door. Apple picking is not here. Apple picking is over Is it the box? Yeah, it is the box. And it's not down there? No. Oh. Okay, apple picking. There's been kids rearranging stuff. <laughs> You saw it last week. <laughs> Apple picking. You'll see it in your e inbox when you email Sorry. Me. Colville M K A R three 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 and Lady J nine eight nine. And then we have Calvin and Clyde, and that goes to Jennifer Flick four two nine zero C underscore Lane eighteen seventy nine and Doll Good seven nine three six. Then pumpkin pie. It's over there. I can see it. Pumpkin pie goes to Sandra Fillion 9558 JK 6599 and Carmen Charles 3842. Okay. I did it. We done? Put it back. That's for this week. Yep. Now we have giveaways for next week. <laughs> All right. The first one is three opportunities to win Home Sweet Haunted Home. Your Home Sweet Haunted Home. Number two is three opportunities to win the kitty. My pumpkins are wayward in here. Number three is three opportunities to win the PDF of Pumpkin Picking Day. That's um, the Back Up the Truck series. Number four from Fabric Flare. Let's do number four, Hello Pumpkin. This is uh, what's in my cup. Number five from Fabric Flare is gonna be two opportunities to win Hazy Gray Dyed Effect. We're gonna keep one for us, just in case we want to use it. That's number five. Number six is uh, Cafe Ole. Two of them, right? Yep, two. We'll keep it in our sash so we know what it looks like and we can give recommendations. That's number six. Number seven is five opportunities to win Simply Jelly Rolls from Fat Quarter Shop. Number eight is Foxtrot, five opportunities. Number nine, five opportunities to win Myrtle. And number 10, five opportunities to win the August Stackables. And number 10. That was number 10. Oh, I was going to give you a pick a chart. 11 is three opportunities to pick a chart from our Etsy shop. Yep. Okay. So what are you like we said, next week, there won't be a video on Saturday morning because I will be at Crime Fun. Hopefully Tuesday we'll do. You can watch her Instagram. I'm sure she'll do. You could go live with Kimberly. Yeah, maybe. But neither one of us are real savvy at that. So you want to come with? <laughs> My husband already said he'd buy me a ticket. I don't care how much it costs. I'll fly you out there. <laughs> He's sick of me. I said they've got VIP. It's very expensive. <laughs> I don't care. I'll pay triple. <laughs> we got a discount because we, we <laughs> can't really run the photo contest. <laughs> All right. What are they going to answer today? Oh. Uh, so tell us. 
Did we already do which was your favorite chart of the three? Mm-mm. All right, but we're not showing them, so yeah. we shouldn't do that. No. All right. Do you <laughs> do you decorate with pumpkins? The muffin man. Do you go and pick pumpkins? Do you just buy one at the grocery store? What's your pumpkin story? Let us know. Or honey crisp, where, where are you at? Forty dollars a bucket. Like where we're at. <laughs> That's how much they were at uh, Myers too. The first time they put them, it was twenty five dollars for a bushel, and then the next time they put them, it was forty dollars for a bushel. There's an orchard in Burlington. I think I'm gonna go there. Yeah, we've been there before. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that expensive. Well, I'm saying prices have tripled for everything. <sighs> so, somebody posted in one of these Disney groups I'm in, um, Mickey's um, haunted party. Mm -hmm. I wish you had some of your receipts too. They had bought tickets in 2003 and it was $39 per person. It's $200 per person now. But I didn't go way back then. No, but I mean, you would know how much like contemporary was. I remember you had printed. Out I invoices. Have, and I still stuff. have a lot of that it's stuff. It's just fun to look at, you know. All right. <laughs> so we appreciate you spending your time with us. Uh, we hope that you get lots of stitching in. Mm -hmm. Again, the retreat with Chantel, you can do sign yes. ups um, starting now. So and we're very excited and we can't wait. We've never done a retreat in Michigan. And the only time I've been to Michigan was when we went to Mackinac Island. Yeah, we went to Mackinac Island. Have you been there other than that? No, I thought you got blueberries from Michigan. I wouldn't go. Oh. Well, we went to Mackinac <laughs> Island. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Anything else? I can't think of anything. All right. We will see you guys. So we'll see you the following week. Okay. So don't lose your minds. We will mm -hmm. be here, but we'll probably be here on Tuesday as long as and, the flights and everything and go well. If everything goes right, we might go live on Tuesday morning. So yeah. call off work. Call you, on sick. You know how exciting that gets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so exciting. <laughs> Especially, like, uh, with being the amount of animals. animals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we appreciate you, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.